Good morning everybody. Today we are here and we're going to be going on a trail. Um, I think this can be the beginning of a new series. Uh, I was thinking about it on the drive over. How uh, about we do Idaho trails? I don't know. So <laughs> we'll, have to, we'll have to go over all of that. I use all trails. This, that's the app that I use to find all the trails that I go on. Uh, and the other day I did a vlog where I said, there are some red trees up on that mountain. I want to go hike to them. And I thought that was the Wiggle Worm Trail, but it's actually the Chinese Peak, which both start from the same place. Uh, so we're gonna be going on this Chinese Peak one and see if we can find those pretty red trees up at the top. Looks like it's a seven mile long. I don't know if I can make seven miles today, but we're gonna try because I've, I've got two hours before I'm supposed to be at someone's house helping them move. So let's get on the show. Let's, let's, just, let's just get on the road then because we need to get going. So this trail starts out, there's the parking lot back there. Nice and easy right off the bat, but it looks like we're gonna zigzag up the mountain a little bit. Looks like the sun is almost up. You can see it over there, like on the mountains, but I think it's just behind this hill. So that's gonna be great. I think I've thought of a name. For now, it's gonna be called Idaho Trailheads because the majority of the trails that I'm gonna be doing are in Idaho. That's where I live. So Idaho Trailheads, here we come. Let's see how many of them we can get. Real quick, right behind me, if I maybe just move it over. In this area, that is the Idaho State University. Right where the mountain goes to the flat part of the valley, that's ISU right out there. So I guess the main audience for these Idaho trailheads is, is going to be probably Idaho students. So if you're an Idaho student, com comment down below and let's go ISU or whatever college you're from. Maybe I'll celebrate each college for whatever town I'm in. So all right. Onward I trek. So on all trails, the app that I use, I'm just gonna go the path that looks the most obvious to me and see if it lines up with what the app says. So far, we've missed this. We started back here and it wanted us to cut straight through there, but I ended up going around without noticing. Um, but this is the path that it thought I should take. Not sure if that's a very good path. So there's one thing. We're finally up where we can see the other side of the hill. Looks like there's a farm back here. And looks like the path just goes straight back into the trees now. I wanna remind you guys, I'm on a time crunch. I'm on a time limit. I wanna to get to those trees before I have to turn around. And so even though this is the first episode, it's kind of just a test. So you guys get, you guys don't know if I'm gonna make it to the end or not, because I am on a time limit. All right, we gotta go. We're finally getting a little bit of sun uh, and we got another hiker up here, trying to just wait a little bit longer so that they can get ahead and I don't bother them with tuck because they do have another dog and it's actually a collie. So maybe we run into them, maybe we don't, but let's go. <laughs> I guess it's pretty easy to tell the difference between an old collie and a young collie his tuck oh my goodness he has so much energy he's just running running like crazy all over the place back and forth and he'll go all the way up and then come back down to me versus the guy that's up here on the hill his collie was right next to him this boom right there and back with my first collie his name was psych he's been in the vlogs before but psych he'd be right next to me as well when he got old, I'd take him on bike rides and he would not leave my side. It's right next to my bike. It was so awesome. So, Tuck will get there eventually. Right, bud? Come here. Come here. You're gonna be by my side, right? He's like, I don't know what you mean. <laughs> Come on. Come here. Yeah, good boy. Yeah, stay. Come on. Good boy. Well, we're almost to the top of this hill here. And this is the actual path that keeps going, I believe. Let's see. Yep. 
So that path keeps going that way. Looks like for another six miles. We're gonna get up here and see if we can just like look out at the valley. I can already see orange trees right there. Orange trees right there. <laughs> so on the All Trails app, we are currently facing towards those mountains. But you can see that I kind of veered off the path to come up on this little hill. Um, and let me face it back. Wait. Oh yeah, yeah. I kind of veered off towards this way. Um, but the path keeps going right along there and I believe right up to those trees where I want to go. My time crunch is getting pretty small. Like my, my window. You doing good? You enjoying yourself? Good. Yeah, my window's closing, so, because I need enough time to go back down the path, get in the car, drive home, and then go to that person's house. He literally, <laughs> Tuck literally just brought me this stick. Look at how big that is. All right, bud. <laughs> Anyways, I think I'll probably hike it. If I put it on YouTube or not, I don't know. I'll probably come back just to get up to those trees. I wanna get right into the middle of them. That would be so cool. This is it for today. So I'm gonna make my way back down. I hope you guys really enjoyed the video. Uh, if you want me to post when I go up there, please comment down below. If you don't comment, I may or may not. So my window, it doesn't really allow for me to keep hiking up, but it does allow me to sit here for a moment. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you like and subscribe, comment down below if you want me to go up there and record it. And I shall see you in the next one. This has been Idaho Trailheads. Peace. Come on, bud. <laughs>